Hello, everyone, and welcome to week five of 2018's recap of My Diet Starts Monday. We are in the month of February, which means we have passed the halfway mark on our 60-day quest to lose 40 pounds. We are enjoying good success along the way because we are paying attention to chemistry over calories. Wait, what? Yes, paying more attention to body chemistry to get the weight loss results we want over calories. Now, calories are important, don't get me wrong. After we have gotten our chemistry right by making the switch from going from sugar burner over to fat burner. Because we don't want to lose just weight. We want to lose fat. That's the chemistry switch, the physiological switch that needs to happen in the body. You didn't know that? Yeah, kind of important. Now, if nobody's ever told you that and you've never been taught that, get ready for a magic weight loss carpet ride. Now, I need to mention that this chemical switch is not the only switch that needs to take place. You see, I went to New York City this weekend. Yes, I know, ice climbing last weekend, New York City this weekend. Now, I don't usually travel that much, hardly at all, really. But it brings up a very good point on being successful on the Make Switch program. Many people think they can't follow a program successfully because they travel. Oh, I see, you can't follow a program because you travel, I get it. <laughs> Look, we went to New York City and we did all sorts of stuff. We saw a taping of a TV talk show, we went out to eat, yeah, we went to the movies and we had a great time. All the while, I stuck to my program, stayed right on point. <laughs> I was surrounded by things that would have thrown my chemistry into a tailspin, switching me radically back into sugar burning mode and triggering fat gain instead of fat loss. Pancakes, waffles, bacon at the diner, popcorn, candy, soft drinks at the movie, and even a welcome home party that had desserts and cakes. Did it phase me? Not a bit. I'm locked in. Now, in order to be successful to make that switch chemically, you got to be able to first make that switch mentally and be totally dedicated to the process no matter where you are. you got to be in that mindset to figure out how you can rather than figuring out excuses on how you can't. So did it pay off for me? Let's check it out. First blood sugar that I check weekly every Monday morning. Fasting lab ranges for blood sugar are typically 80 to 100 but I like to see it between 80 and 90. I started out at 95, and for the next five weeks, I have consistently measured in the 70s, this week coming in at 77. Of all the numbers that I track, I feel best about this. Anyone with unstable blood sugar levels will tell you what a nightmare it is. Next are my blood ketone levels that I check weekly right along with my blood sugar. Elevated ketone levels known as ketosis is a confirmation that we are indeed in the fat burning mode, I like to see it between 1.5 and 3.0. I started all the way down to 0.2, and for the next five consecutive weeks, have measured elevated ketone levels this week coming all the way up to 4.9. Now, let's take a look at the chart that tracks my weight. Now, as you know, at the beginning, I started all the way up at 271. I lost 12 pounds the first week. I lost five pounds the second week. I lost six pounds the third week. I lost another five pounds the fourth week. The fifth week, I lost a very surprising seven pounds. Yes, that brings a total of 35 pounds in 35 days. Now, that was unexpected because as you get closer to your goal, weight loss tends to taper down. Anyone will tell you that the first five pounds of weight loss is way different than the last five pounds of weight loss. Pleasant surprise, I'll take it. Now, as far as exercise, after skipping a couple weeks, I did get out there and run three times this week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Now, did that have something to do with it? Probably. So what does 35 pounds look like? Let's take a look. Picture number one from the front, picture number two from the side, and picture number three from the back. I am definitely giving the cool change photo this week to the back. This is the first picture right on at that crease in the back because of my fat. Hey man, so what is make a switch? As I said, it is combining the three very best approaches that I have found and combining them into one. And these three approaches answer the three most important questions when it comes to weight loss. The trifecta. What do I eat? When do I eat? And how much do I eat? The answer to each one of these three questions helps you to be put in fat burning mode. But putting all three together locks you in. You just found yourself a great program that I call Make a Switch. Now, this is combining three approaches into one, and each one of them has their own rules. So combining all three into one, I don't even have to tell you, it is structured. So you have got to be mentally ready in order to be physically successful. And when you are, 
We'll be right here to help. Five more pounds to go, 35 days out of 60. Learn what, when, and how much to eat the trifecta on the Make a Switch program. Where your mind is, your body will follow. So make that switch mentally so you can make the switch chemically because it is chemistry over calories and it is better to be in alignment than out of alignment every single time. We will see you at the next post next week.